Well, I don't know if you caught my just jerking back from the spray coming over the bow. It's uh, Tuesday, April 4th. Three weeks out of St. Helena, we have reached the northeast trade winds. We've been sailing continuously. It's now about 5 p.m., getting close to sunset. Uh, We've been sailing continuously since about seven yesterday morning. I hesitate because some of these waves are coming aboard, and while it's warm water, I don't really want to get wet, but it may happen. Uh, so, we have finally passed through the doldrums. We just ended Gannett's slowest week at sea by far. I would have to look it up, but I think it was 456 nautical miles. Her next slowest week was 678, so there's not even any comparison. Uh, 200, more than 200 miles slower. It was not joyful. The wind here is pretty much on the beam. Uh, you can maybe see the deck's wet. I've had to be sailing with the forward hatch closed, which means that it's hotter and stuffier down below. That is not a complaint. I had more than enough of being becalmed. Uh, sheet to tiller. The pelagic has been perfect. Matter of fact, yesterday morning, when the wind came up, we were becalmed that day. And I saw a bank of clouds continuously across the southern horizon, pitch black. And as the sun came up, the very tops of those clouds, way up, 30, 40, 50,000 feet, caught the light. They were billowing thunderheads up there, so I knew there'd be a lot of wind. And there was the uh, Pelagic handled it all perfectly, torrential rain. I'm not using the Pelagic all the time simply because I'm saving the battery and sheet tiller's quieter than the Pelagic, but it may be the answer. It looks, well, until, until it proves otherwise, the Pelagic is Gannett's tiller pilot. It has already withstood conditions that would have killed Ray Marines many times over. We have about 1,600 miles to go. Unless we sustain damage or something inconceivable happens, we'll be there in uh, 15 days, plus or minus a couple of days. I am really pleased to be sailing again. Last week was brutally frustrating. 